The music usually comes from a melody or from a texture. And I can start from either of those. It just depends on the mood that I'm in. So it might have sharp tones in it. It might be spiky, or it might have a lot of staccato, very short notes in it. From that texture, I, I build kind of a feeling in the music, and I do this all on the computer. So frequently I start from a melody rather than a texture. And when I start from a melody, look, there's, there's no end of melodies in, in my head and in the world. So when I talk about composition uh, and the way I work it, I sometimes refer to it as design and engineering. So the design part is the artistic part. The engineering is just cranking through and get every, getting everything in place and getting things to work. And the engineering is a huge part of it. Uh, experimentation and revision are big parts of what I do. So frequently I'll sit down with an instrument of that sort, with a sampled instrument, and I'll just experiment with making something that sounds a particular way. So I'll take some low notes and some high notes and sometimes I'll spread them across that spectrum to get, to get an effect. And I experiment with it until I find the effect that I want. So let's take a look at the process that I used for the, the, the composition that you'll hear tonight. I originally created this composition in Logic Pro, which is a piece of software on the Macintosh. So my process is really to start with that melody and texture, build something up, and honestly, I never throw anything away. So for me, it's just really easy to put a piece aside. So I call these sketches. I create something in software and I put the file aside. So I have lots and lots of works in progress. So in preparation for tonight's work, Kayla took a look at a number of compositions that I had done in mock-up. The mock-up, of course, is a creation that's done on the computer. It's done in Logic Pro, in my case, and it's done using sampled instruments. So it sounds good. It's, it gives you a very good idea what it's gonna sound like with live instruments. And in this case, I had a mock-up that was very close to what I wanted. It was primarily piano, and it had a couple of additional instruments. So the next step was for me to take the work that she chose. That one was Dakini Dance number three. I took that, it was for piano primarily. I copied and pasted that piano part, and then I took the relevant parts for each instrument and wrote the line for the instrument. I did that in mock-up, and I did that using these sampled violin and cello and piano sounds so that we had a pretty good idea what it was going to sound like. And then Kayla was able to use that mock-up in rehearsal with dancers to take her first crack at how she wanted the dance to progress. I made a few more changes in the work, but not to the general arc or flow of it. I made changes in the individual notes that were being played in certain parts. So it's 